Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Thomas. This is the Buffalo Fanatics YouTube channel. Thanks for checking in once again. I got a special one for you guys. Week 2. The Buffalo Bills are hosting the Los Angeles Chargers. And you know who's starting that week? Oh yeah. The 7th overall draft pick, Josh Allen. Now cut to the intro. So, huge news that just came out today. After that horrible week one performance by Nathan Peterman and the offensive line, the wide receivers, the tight end, defense, everybody played horrible. And now McDermott looks like a complete idiot saying, well, I thought Peterman was the guy. Guess not. You know what I mean? And so Josh Allen is taking over the reins now. Now, this scares me a little bit, but it also makes a little bit of sense. And I'll tell you why. It scares me because if Josh Allen comes in and plays horrific as well, you can't take him out now. You can't panic and say, crap. Peterman's our guy because it's just not going to happen. First off, Peterman's played so bad, he's probably not going to start another game this year unless literally every quarterback on the planet gets injured first. That's uh, that's what it comes down to. No changes made to the offensive line is what I'm hearing. Uh, I, I just can't I just can't believe that after that week one performance, you'd think that you'd change something up. Maybe you'd put Bodine in instead of Groy. Maybe you'd get Wyatt Teller in at left guard instead of um, instead of Dukas. John Miller, I mean, I don't know what your replacement is there because he commits a lot of penalties recently for some reason. I don't know why. Should have never taken him out of the starting lineup to begin with and put Dukas in ever. We should have never got Dukas. I think that's we can all agree on that. But yeah, big, big decision starting the rookie week two. If you guys remember, I posted a video way back when why Josh Allen must start week one. I got a lot of hate on that video. I got a lot of hate on that video. A lot of people were like, oh no, he's not ready. Or, oh no, Peterman, Peter Goat's gonna be good. Nate, Peterman. That's for Rico. But, you know, um, you know, it's just crazy how, you know, in the course of two months, everybody's mind can change by just watching one player do their thing, Nathan Peterman, and say, oh my god, we can never start him again. He was horrible. 47 to 3? Just stop there. Just stop there. I mean, it was an unbelievably horrible game. I mean, overall, it was just horrible. And, you know, when you start out, the when, when, the, when the Ravens came out and they started their drive, they started with like an 8-minute drive with a touchdown. I mean, talking about starting out gassing your opponent's defense. I mean, from that point on, it was just like, it's game over. Because if they can do that to us every single time, we're screwed. Because we're not going to have enough time, and our defense is going to be too tired to do anything about it. So, you know, and that's what happens. I actually think the defense, um, the, the defense was better. And, you know, some people would say, oh, but the defense was horrible. They gave up 47 points. That's not entirely the case, because when your offense goes three and out every single drive in the first half your defense is going to be gassed most of you guys know that some of you guys don't so i gotta i gotta tell you you know what i mean also just want to take a little break real quick i got this jersey this josh allen jersey i'm gonna show you pictures i got this josh allen jersey for 40 dollars. it's a game it's an on-field jersey and i got it from at the jersey plug on Instagram if you guys haven't checked him out if you guys are wanting a cheap jersey for $40 that looks very nice that is stitched go to the jersey plug don't go to buy don't go to the bill store don't go to nflshop.com go to the jersey plug he hooked me up with this and it is it is so nice I mean it is unbelievably nice um, and he's a Bills fan too so go hit him up go get your jersey today for $40 Man, I love this thing. It's my nicest jersey that I got now, and it's the cheapest one I ever bought. So, I'm excited. 
and and I'm, I can't wait to wear this week two when I'm going to the Chargers game and we're gonna win we're gonna win I don't know we'll see I don't I don't know if we're gonna win or not who cares we'll see I actually don't mind if we lose because if it's Josh Allen's start if he start if he puts up 10 points it's better than Peterman and that's that just shows you that he's already better than what you have I mean last game yeah, they took out the starters, but the Chargers are 0-1 as well going into this game, and they're looking for their first win. They pro All their fans was, were probably crying when they said, Oh my god, we can't play Nathan Peterman, why? We're gonna, get, we're gonna have an ultimate win, an easy win if Nathan Peterman gets put in the game. But McDermott's like, nah, mm -mm, we ain't having that anymore. I made a mistake. Josh Allen's the future. He's the guy. The future's now. Let's go. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. I just wanted to come on here and just give a little, you know, something, something to you guys. I haven't made a video in a little bit. And, you know, week one passed us by pretty quickly. Um, let's just try to forget about that. And now we can say the time is now. The time has come. And, and you know, just another thing, though. Sam Darnold. When I heard he was starting week one, I said, you're going to look bad if you don't start Josh Allen week one. And what happens? What happened? We scored three points, gave up 47, and the Jets came to town at Detroit, I believe, and blew it up 48 to 17 with Sam Darnold. Sure, he threw a pick six on his, on his first play. Trust me, I watched that a couple times. I liked that. I, I enjoyed that. However, I can't deny the fact that they steamrolled the Lions. Steamrolled them. And, you know, and that's sad because now every team in our division is 1-0 and we're 0-1 and we just wasted week one on Nathan Peterman. So, it is what it is. But lastly, I'm going to give you guys a prediction for week two for the Chargers at Bills game. So let's get into it. I have the Chargers winning 31 to 20. Um, I think that they're just too good. And I think that, you know, the home crowd will be rocking and rolling. But I just think that that O-line won't hold up. I don't think the wide receivers will step up enough. And, um, and yeah. 31 to 20. What do you guys think? Let me know what your guys' record prediction for next game is. I want to hear it. Bill's Mafia wants to hear it. The Buffalo Fanatics want to hear it. So let me know in the comments down below. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to grow this thing. We're on the 10K chase, baby. We're trying to get there. So subscribe. If you haven't already, like the video. Go down and hit a big thumbs up. Comment your opinions down below. What do you think about Josh Allen starting? What is your record prediction for this next week? Are you going to the game? Let me know. But until next time, I hope you guys have a great day and go Bills. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.